this gal wanted her legs exactly the same length and she was interested in robotics and basically the robot helps us ream the pelvis so that the socket piece goes in exactly the same spot. So we take the patient's anatomy on CT scan and we design exactly where the cup is going to go. The reamer then comes in under robotic control. I guide it, but it only cuts and prepares where the robot has planned. We also put the cup in using the same guidance system and we can adjust to the quarter millimeter, we can adjust to the degree. So the cups go in spot on and that's an improvement, that's a step up using robotics. Once the cup is in, we then take the robot out of the case and then we'll show you the x-rays that we take during the surgery. We trace them um, methodically so that the anatomic variations are minimal. The first film is the patient's anatomy with her anatomic markers traced. The second film is after the implants have been put in. Now this may be the sixth or the seventh or the eighth picture that we take and print and trace during the case. Sometimes the, the implant has to change. We have higher offset and lower offset implants. Sometimes the implant is not quite big enough. Again, these are things robots can't see, but x-rays can. And at the end of the case, we know we have not lengthened the leg at all. And I get great confidence uh, with this. I tell my staff that this is sleeping medicine for me because if I don't take the x-rays and I don't know exactly, then I have to worry about it. And patients want exact in my entire career is designed, has been uh, built around the idea that we're trying to do perfect work and perfect reproduction. And this is one of the most accurate ways to uh, ascertain accuracy in limb length in hip replacement surgery.